Hello, my name is Kimberly Olson, and today I'm going to show you my stuffed pepper recipe. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitKim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. So I absolutely love this recipe. I think you're going to love it. And what I like about it is even if somebody isn't a big fan of peppers, they love this, this recipe. And it's very filling too. So you can pair, this could be a whole meal or you could pair it with a lean protein for dinner and you will be totally satisfied. So I will have all of the instructions, ingredients, and nutritional content on my blog. So for now, just follow along and watch, and that way you know how to do it on your own. Now what you're going to need, I'm actually, in the recipe, you're going to see it calls for four peppers. I'm just going to show you two just to make it easier. Um, however, everything that I add to it is for four stuffed peppers. So if you're following along, this is going to prepare you for four stuffed peppers. Um, before we start digging in with that, what I would recommend doing first is go ahead and cook your quinoa. Now quinoa, a lot of people don't know what quinoa is. If you've seen my other videos or watched, been on my blog, you know I'm a big fan. What I love about quinoa, it's gluten free, it's a non-dairy source of calcium, and it's loaded with protein. It has all, the, all of the essential amino acids. And it's super tasty and good, and I just love it. I cook with it all the time. And this is gonna give this meal some bulk too. So what you can do is take um, one cup of uh, vegetable broth, you could do chicken broth too if you wanted, and then you're going to add your quinoa and dry, you want half a cup, and you just boil it and then uh, reduce it to a simmer. And the reason why I do that now, I'm gonna go ahead and do it before we get into this, is because that is going to uh, take some time to cook. So you can go ahead and prep these, preheat your oven, and that way when the quinoa is done, you just mix it all together, throw in the oven, and you'll be good to go. So now my quinoa is on the stove cooking, I'm bringing it to a boil and I'm going to simmer it and I also just preheated the oven at 400 degrees. Now what you'll want to do is you're actually going to take your red peppers and you're going to cut the tops out like you would a pumpkin. And I leave all the seeds in there, that's totally up to you if you want to do that. You can take a spoon when you're done and then just hand scoop out the insides to get all the additional seeds if you don't like things uh, spicy. But because we're baking it, we're just kind of taking a lot of that spice and heat out of it. Plus two, I find raw red peppers, and I cook with peppers a lot, but raw red peppers, they tend to be really crunchy, and I just like things to, the texture to be a little different. And I find when I cook with these and bake them, it actually softens them and just makes them easier to eat. So you can, again, you can scoop out the extra part if you want. And then so the inside's going to look like this. <clears throat> and then we can go ahead and set these aside. And we'll go ahead and work on the inside part. So what we're going to do is start with the black beans over here. And I have half a cup of black beans. And I actually soaked these myself. So I bought dried black beans, soaked them. And uh, there's instructions on how to do that on the back of the package. But you can just buy a can of black beans. Just make sure you get organic and rinse them really well. So you just toss all of this in a bowl. This is really, really easy. Then I have one tomato, and I have it uh, seeded and diced. And you can see the sizes are about this big. So you just toss it in the bowl. Then I have half of a small avocado, also chunk, uh, cut up into small little chunks. And by the time we're done with this, and also uh, you're going to see how much nutrition is in it, but also be thinking about swapping out some of the ingredients. So if I cover something you don't like, just mix it and add something else. Um, I've also ch chopped up spinach and put that in here before. I've done organic corn, uh, just frozen all thawed out and add that in here. So now we have one jalapeno uh, seeded and diced into, again, small pieces. Then I have one garlic clove finely minced. And if you don't like garlic, again, you can just omit that. And then I have one green onion chopped up. Green onions are they also called scallions. They're really long. Those are kind of sweeter, so if you don't really like onions, that's always a good option too. So I'm going to wait to mix this up and we'll season it up, but we're going to have to wait until the quinoa is done. So when your quinoa is done, you've simmered it and it's uh, all the liquid has been absorbed, you can go ahead and add it to this bowl. Okay, so my quinoa is done now, and I'm going to go ahead and add it to our mixture here. It's steaming hot. It smells delicious. And if you've never had quinoa before, you can just eat it straight out of the, you know, the bowl without anything added to it. 
But this is also a really good thing to add to salads, especially if you're trying to eat uh, less meat and things like that, but you still want some substance to your meal. A lot of times I add quinoa in to give it some, some depth and kind of that bulk that makes you feel full. So after you have your quinoa, you can go ahead and start mixing up everything. And then once you've mixed it uh, pretty well, go ahead and season it. So you want about half a teaspoon of sea salt and then one teaspoon of black pepper. And again, be your own chef. You can definitely experiment with other seasonings uh, for sure. And then go ahead and mix it up again just to make sure this uh, salt and pepper is combined really well with the food. Once you have that done, what you're going to do is go ahead and spoon your mixture into your red pepper. This can be a little messy if you're like me in the kitchen, but that's all right. This makes it more fun. And what you want to do is fill it in so every little nook and cranny is also filled with food with the mixture here. And what you can do is just have it slightly overflowing. And I like color, so I always try to top it with some black beans and the tomatoes. So it kind of looks like this. And then I'm going to do the other one. And if you are following along, you have four red peppers at this point. You can fill up all four. And then what you're going to do is put these in, uh, I guess you could do a baking sheet. I always do a glass dish for some reason. So just slightly spray it with uh, olive oil spray and then set these on in your glass dish or again on your baking sheet. Pop them in the oven at 400 degrees for 25 minutes. Let them cool slightly and you'll be good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. I just pulled the stuffed peppers out of the oven and they're super hot so let them cool down. But I wanted to cut it open and show you really how much food this is just so you can get an idea. And then obviously I was going to take a bite because these are awesome. So literally the whole entire thing can be eaten, even the base of it. And if you're serving these at a party or something, you can cut them in half like this and they look really nice on a plate. Um, otherwise you can serve them whole and then have whoever is eating them cut them up. So you can get an idea here. This is a ton of food, seriously. It's just amazing. Chock full of nutritious food. So I'm just going to get a little bite here. Hmm. That is delicious. You have to try it. I love it. Like I said, I love how the red pepper, once it's cooked, kind of breaks down the harsh fibers and it makes it easier to chew it. And obviously everything stuffed inside just adds so much flavor. And every time I do, do this, I do it a little bit different. So remember, be your own chef, corn, whatever you want to add to it that's different, whatever you have in the fridge, mushrooms, you name it. It cooks really well with this and it's just a really well-rounded way to get a lot of nutrition in your body. So I hope you like this recipe. Please try it. Post a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you like this video, please subscribe at FitKim TV on YouTube. Remember to go to my blog as well, FitKim.com on the right sidebar. Make sure you sign up for my e-tips and I send those out once a month. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.